So I request my viewers now that mm -hmm. to learn from your talk you now and it's you to also work on your strengths you now. Make a list of your strengths and my strength is like uh, if there is some problem then I will never hesitate to talk in front of the teachers. Excellent. Learn from the man. Whenever there is some problems, please don't hesitate. Express it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm recalling the movie. Mahabhute. So care though. <laughs> so whenever there is some problem, don't feel any hesitation, express it, no. but express it at a proper platform. Proper platform. Okay. And it's the Quranic concept. So it's we to find the proper platform. Yeah. The problem, health problem is there, share it with the doctor, doctor. and the relevant doctor, the doctor concerned. Yeah. And the second thing is that I have a control on my anger issue. Excellent. What type of issue you have control on? Anger issue. Excellent. Now, Prophet Muhammad says that, you know, he was defining. Muhammad was defining you know, yeah. bravery. Bravery. That who can be called a brave person? So, Muhammad says, brave is not the person. We are always, you know, that ready, you know, to kill, to abuse, you know, to shout, to rebuke, you know, to scold and so on. Mm -hmm. But God Almighty has blessed you with this, you know, that quality of controlling your anger. anger. Where did you learn it from? Uh, actually, my uh, the first thing I, I, I got this from, you know, I have a fine. So they didn't tell you only. They moved it. They did it practically. Practically. That's how you learned it. No? Yeah. Being a Muslim, uh, I can I can say it my strength that I recite Holy Quran daily. Mashallah. You said recite now that, but you agree that reading the Quran with proper understanding and meaning, it matters now. Yeah. There are a lot of strength, but uh, the last thing is that uh, strengths and weaknesses they work together now. They're over there. Yeah. What's about you? What are your strengths as human beings? As Nadim, as a son, as a student, as a passenger, as a traveler, as a visitor, as a speaker, as a listener. You got the idea? Yeah, I got it. Again, again, as a friend, as a companion, as a driver, and so on. What are your strengths? If I talk about... Then, sorry, there is videos. No, it's you to work on that. It will really give you a lot. So work on that. Your strengths, your weaknesses, your strength as a son, as a daughter, as a father, as a friend, as, as a neighbor. No, there are different roles which we play in the society. As a customer, as a shopkeeper, as a questioner, as a respondent, you know, as a caller. And you know that as a sender, as a receiver, as a batsman, as a batter, no, the batsman has been replaced. No, it is known as batter. Bat as a bowler, as a fielder. Fielder. No, like that, no. Again, as a writer, as a reader, as a viewer. So it's we to work on that because it contributes a lot. You no, know, it shall add to the beauty of your personality. It would add color to your no personality. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to practice this with this guy. I mean the genius mind. I call genius mind, Mr. Nick. Nadim, what are your strengths? My strength is like uh, if there is some problem, then I will never hesitate to talk in front of the teachers. Excellent. Learn from the man. Whenever there are some problems. Please don't hesitate. Express it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm recalling the movie. Mahabhute. So, care though. So, whenever there is some problem, don't feel any hesitation. Express it. No. But express it at a proper platform. Proper platform. Okay. And it's the Quranic concept. So, it's we to find the proper platform. Yeah. The problem, health problem is there. Share it with the doctor. doctor. And the relevant doctor, the doctor concerned, yeah. eyesight with the eye specialist, eye specialist. and the stomach now with the stomach specialist yeah. that. and whatever that is now. Again, there is a problem in studies and now again be specific, physics problems with the physics teachers, physics teacher. clear chemistry with the chemistry English. teacher, English with the English, English teacher and so on. Now. It is some family issue discuss it with your family. Yeah. Now, and so on. So that you think that you don't hesitate in expressing your problems you now with the one who is capable of solving that. Yeah. Means you express it at its proper platform. Yeah. You share it. That you think. What a quality Mr. Ndev has. Marshall. No hesitation in expressing whatever you are facing. But express it at its proper platform. Okay. Excellent. Please, anything else? The second thing is that I have a control on my anger issue. Excellent. What type of issue you have control on? 
anger issues. Excellent. Now, Prophet Muhammad says that, you know, he was defining, Muhammad was defining you know, bravery. bravery. That who can be called a brave person? So, Muhammad says, brave is not the person who beats others. Who beats others. Brave is the one who has the control on himself. Exactly. Excellent. So, having control on you, over you, on your emotion shows that you are brave and it proves, it testifies your bravery. Yeah. So, you have control over your anger now. That Where did you learn it from? Because it's a very tough task over in our country. Yeah, exactly. You know that even we are not tolerating our parents. Parents are not tolerating the children. Teachers are not tolerating no, the student. The student is not tolerating the teacher. No, that the passengers are not tolerating other passengers, drivers are not, and so on. Even the doctors are not tolerating other yeah. patients. We are always, you know, that ready, you know, to kill, to abuse, no, to yeah. shout, to rebuke, you know, to scold, and so on. Yeah. But God Almighty has blessed you with this, you know, that quality of controlling your anger. anger. Where did you learn it from? Uh, actually, my uh, the first thing I, I I got this from my ancestors yeah. as well as my parents. Mashallah. They always told me according to Islam. Yeah. Because there's uh, mostly we are following uh, Islamic concept. Mashallah. At all, at all. So they always said that mm. you have to control on your anger. Mm. You don't have to be uh, aggressive mm. on any situation. May I ask some question? Yeah. Did you find any any day any time? Not on any occasion, parents showing anger, fighting with one another, abusing like that. No, I have a fine. So they didn't tell you only. They moved it. They did it practically. Practically. That's how you learned it. No? Yeah. By merely telling others, there's no change. There's no change. See, those were parents now. And it's we to develop the habit of not setting examples now, the practical example in front of our children all that. If we tolerate others, Again, our children shall be tolerating. No? If we know how to control on our anger, our children shall be able no, to learn how to control on their anger. If we do good deeds, our children shall be doing good deeds. Mm -hmm. And if, unfortunately, we are involved in negative activities, the same shall, the same result shall be seen over there yeah. in the children. No? So you learned it from your parents. First quality, you know how to share your problem right. because you don't feel any hesitation Education. and you share it at its proper platform. Yeah. Number two, the second strength of yours is now that you have control on your anger. Yeah. Angry situation is there, you have control over emotions and you don't misbehave. You behave in an ideal way and you learned it from the environment of your home, especially the contribution was made by your parents. Third quality. I mean the strengths. Uh, Dearest viewers, please watch us. Listen to the man very attentively. Please try to understand. You no, know, the talk. You no, know, the genius mind is giving. Make list of your strengths and your weaknesses, please. Being a Muslim, uh, I can I can say it my strength that I recite Holy Quran daily. Mashallah. You said recite. You no, know, that how do you recite? You no, know, that you recite simply the Arabic. Uh, text now or you recite it now with proper understanding with proper meaning with proper translation no on a daily routine i decide with uh, uh only arabic but i also yeah. take some classes of Quran translation mashallah that's very important yeah. because simply know that no doubt know that when we read the arabic text now that it matters but the purpose of the objective of the revelation of the quran is now to follow the quran in your daily life yeah it's a book of you know, that obedience. You no, know, it's we to obey in our daily life. Yeah. So how can we obey if we can't understand the meaning? No. So that's why you have decided you no know, to attend you no know, the classes, the translation classes. And how can we convey this message to the masses over in the country that it's we to develop the habit of reading the Quran with understanding, not read only its text. No. How can we convey this message? First of all, we should have to implement this thing on ourselves, yeah. then and on our family, then mm. with one of our friends. Yeah. Uh, and on the other hand, if we are uh, teaching on in the institute, then mm. we have to implement those things on the institute. Excellent. Okay. Now, so be practical. First, do it now, and your do doing shall impress or attract other, and the people should start following you. 
It's excellent. No? But you agree that reading the Quran with proper understanding right. meaning, it matters now. Yeah. But simply reading the Arabic version, you will be enjoying. Yeah. But now that you won't find any change in your daily life because yeah. whatever the message of God is there, you didn't understand it. Yeah. No? So, there is views. Now, let's decide to read the Holy Quran with proper understanding. The Quran it itself says, Afala yatadabbarun al Quran. Yeah. Why don't people know that work on understanding the Holy Quran? Why don't they go for the book? Why don't they work on its understanding? Mm -hmm. Because this is the book of guidance now. So, three qualities, three strengths. Number four. Number four is like. You're tired. We shall start now that with weaknesses tomorrow. Yeah, we can. Not tomorrow, but strengths you can complete today. Yeah. We have a lot of strength, but uh, the last thing is that uh, if I got something new or yeah. like uh, if I got something informative, yeah. then uh, it's I don't know that what's happening with me, but I always deliver it to me, my friends. Love you, have my to do son. These things. That's a good for you or like you're not you 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 don't behave miserly now. Yeah. You are very generous enough now. That yeah. Generous now in sharing whatever you learn now, especially when you learn something new yeah. and you think that it is beneficial. So you share this new learning with your friends. Yeah. You are not miserly. Yeah. You are generous now. So it means your other strength is now that you have generosity. generosity. You are generous, mashallah. I am sure this generosity shall not be limited to only these words. It shall be now that, that you will be in the habit of sharing whatever you have. Yeah. Again, you have some, you can say, you have some dress. And you think that someone else needs it now that over there I'm not talking about family yeah. and you will be sharing with that. You have some book and you think you know that that book can benefit others and you will be sharing that book with others. others. You have something with you know which can benefit other. I'm sure you shall be you know that yeah. sharing with others because this is generosity. generosity. So there is friends you now we try you not know, to talk about you know the strengths today and uh, I learned a lot from the man. There is a message for me as well now that being a student, being teacher, being father, being son, being you now that because I have also the same role, the role you have in your daily life. So I request my viewers you now that to learn from your talk you now and it's you to also work on your strengths you now. Make a list of your strengths and we shall be having some other very interesting activity now the next day, inshallah. Sure. Till then, thank you. See you, inshallah. Thank you so much, too. Welcome. 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 Welcome.